Hello everybody, welcome back to our tutorial. My name is Shidebere. In today's tutorial, we'll be looking at how to build and deploy a Flutter web application on Netlify. So Netlify is a platform where you can deploy your uh, web application and websites. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we looked at how to do that on uh, Heroku. And today we are doing that on uh, Netlify. So for new, uh, for beginners of, in Flutter or for newbies uh, who are just using Flutter for the first time, for this tutorial, just uh, once you set up your environment, go over to this place and make sure that this is checked. This web is checked. So I've done this. I've set up my project before now. Uh, this is it. I've gone ahead to clean up my boiler plates and also uh, put some little amount of code just to display a page for us. So in this tutorial, basically we will be doing some couple of things which involves adding a loading page or a loading animation to our page. And um, just to, you know, when Flutter is loading for the first time, uh, you have to wait for some couple of seconds before the page loads. But we don't want the user to see a blank screen while this is happening. We want to show activity on the page. That's why we will be doing some little modifications here and there. So um, get your Flutter project up and running. Uh, if you can, just clean up the boilerplate, everything in it, and make it look exactly like this. And uh, I've gone ahead to run my project just to save time. And this is what it looks like over here. So just to uh, give you a hint, something happened when I was running this for the first time after some couple of upgrades I did some days back. and after the loading screen you know this loading screen here after this loading screen here i got a blank page i did it for some couple of uh times and i was still getting a blank page so if you um if you get the same kind of uh, if you get into the same kind of situation simply come to this place and remove this remove this so if you read through this uh comment here it will tell you exactly what it does but to be on the safer side, just remove this entirely so you don't get a blank page because it practically made me uh, spend a whole lot of time trying to figure it out. Um, so back to our tutorial here. Uh, just like I told you, we already have this and we'll go ahead to add our animation to this. So over here, I've gone ahead to... Over here, I've gone ahead to pick up one or two animations which I saved to somewhere here oh I've deleted it okay let's go ahead and pick uh, some animations uh, which one do I pick which one do I pick which one do I pick okay let's see this okay let's pick this so um, save image as So I want to save it here. Uh, I call it loading. It will save as the GIF because it's a GIF image. So this is it here. So uh, back to our project. We'll create assets, a folder called assets, assets, and then then we'll come over to this place. Right click, copy and paste it on into our asset folder here. This is what we will display to the user while the page is still loading. So this is our GIF here. So um, to do this, I've written down some couple of code which I don't want to start typing because of time. So basically, I will tell you what it does and um, continue. So this is an element which we will use to house the image GIF. So I copy this. I will still share the uh, the code with you so you can still have the same thing. I will share it in the description of the video. So go to your index file. Go over to the body. After the opening body tag, somewhere here, just paste this uh, GIF tag. So. This is the ID, this is the class, 
and this is the image tag indicator so the next one we'll be doing is to style this particular element to style it and make it look more presentable so head over to your head tag so we'll put it after these comments i don't want to delete these comments uh you if you have time please do read comments on flutter uh boilerplate it might or it will help you to understand some informations on their new upgrade or whatever they have on that particular page so this is for styling this this is our container class this is our loading uh id uh loading indicator id and this is our class indicator so we style all these both here and here so the third one here is for us to use this and hide any scroll bar we don't want scroll bar but for now let's leave it as it is and this is a function which we will need for us what this function actually does is it checks whether the page has loaded if it has then it will automatically do what it will automatically hide that loading gif and display our page to us so for us to add this we add it to the body and it has to come below this place so i add a script you have to put it inside script and then make sure it's over here so this is the script it will it will it will check uh, i think it it has a timer function set for 10 seconds 10000 milliseconds which is approximately 10 seconds so um this is this so let's refresh and see what we have over here so you see the nice looking animation showing loading 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 and this is it so this is what we want and we've gotten what we want exactly what we want so let's go over to our um to where we are going to deploy this so as i told you we are going to be deploying this on netlify so you need to have an account on netlify page if you don't have if you don't have any account here please go ahead and sign up and uh, confirm your email address and uh, you are good to go so log into your account here is mine and uh, over here you will see a dashboard just same as this when you log in so you will see something i've deployed something here before that's why i'm you are seeing this and um, let's say you want to deploy a new app you go over to apps here you see add new sites or new website or new web app add new site so basically there are three ways to add a new site to netlify uh, platform you can do that by importing existing project or uh, they will give you a template which you can host on your github or any repository of your choice and they'll show you step by step uh, process of how to deploy it or you can do a manual deployment which involves drag and drop onto this interface and netlify will automatically build your application for you so let's look at the import this we are going to do this later on uh, in our in our upcoming uh, tutorial series how to connect or you can go ahead and read these uh the the, the know-how or this uh what's it called the documentation on how to do this this involves plugging in your connecting your netlify account to your github uh, repository and deploying this uh the second one involves uh templates you get to have a template like this you deploy this template to your github repository and then connect that repository to this platform then the last one is the manual deployment this involves dragging your build folder into this environment and netlify takes care of the rest for you so i love doing this uh the beauty of doing the first two is that whenever you update your repository your app gets updated almost immediately so you don't uh, have to worry about dragging and dropping and the rest of them so um back to our project here i've built this app before so this is my build folder here 
and uh, for you to build your application you will have to come over to your terminal and do flutter uh, build web so if it's ios you say flutter build ios if it's android you say flutter build apk or aab file and then flutter will build so we want it to build although it has done this before we want it to uh build again to make sure we capture everything in here we want to rebuild it you know i have been hot restarting and hot reloading and we don't want to miss anything that's why i'm doing this build here so i'm going to pause this video once it's done with our build and then i'm going to uh continue we are going to continue and i'm going to show you how you drag and drop this and get it built so let me pause this so welcome back our compilation is done and um so let's let's see let me remove this so here is our build folder which we need to drag and drop into this environment so let me see if i can drag it from here if not then i'll have to uh do that from uh from the from the folder where this project is located so let's do this you see i drop it it says it doesn't contain an index file or folder so let's see what happens um okay let's see what happens all right so um this is our build folder here and this is our web folder this was added when we did this build here so this is what we needed to drag this web folder not this so you can go over head over to your uh to your uh, explorer file explorer where you have it and drag it directly to this place or you can do that directly from your uh android studio or your vs code or whatever ide you are using so we'll carry this drag it and drop here sorry let me do that again uh let's let's go back on that so um add new sites manual drop so i do this i grab the web and i drop it says it doesn't contain an index folder let's see index file index.html file okay let's let's go head over to this place and uh, do it directly from here build and this is our web folder here so i grab this and drag and drop it here so please don't do it from this place you see the error it was giving me head over to where to your file explorer where the project is located go to your uh go to your project truth folder open the build folder and then you will see your web uh folder just drag the web folder into this environment don't do it from your ide so uh, i'm going to pause okay it's done already so it's already created my my application here so this is the application running locally on this particular host here and this is it it has been deployed here it says it has been deployed this is how you want to set it up custom setup and this is the third side so this is the url where this guy has been deployed and we can just right click and open in another terminal and we get to see oh our gif is not displaying our gif is not playing out here I don't know why but it's not displaying our GIF so um, I'm going to take 
okay our gif didn't display i'm going to figure out how uh how to resolve that and i will update you guys but that animation which is happening here this animation happening over here is not working on here so this is where it is deployed you can go ahead to, over to this place and change the name of this by doing site setting you can edit the name uh where is the name site name change site name you can call it uh netlify tutorial and when you try to save it will check whether it's available if it is it will change to that site name so it will no longer be this uh random string here but it will be netlify tutorial dot netlify app dot com so um this is supposed to be showing us animation our gif animation i will find a way to fix that and we'll get it under control so but this is basically it here your app will display once the gif is done loading so give it some couple of times some couple of seconds and uh, it will come up here so this is it here we can come over to our deploy uh, uh, site overview and we can set up our custom domain. So if you have an existing domain here, you can just enter the name of the domain and verify. Then let's, let me enter one of my domain and let's verify. So it says that it's already registered. So what it tried to do is to see if it's free and get you to buy it but it tells you that it's already registered you can try another or you can add this domain so this domain i've launched it here i'm using it here i'm using it here so i can't use it again i need a new domain to set that up so that's basically how you set up your domain so my app is showing this is it over the internet and this is it hosted locally so that's all for now i will take a look at how to resolve that gif image and update you and don't forget if you run into the issue of your app not loading due to latest version of flutter implementation or upgrade please come over to this place you will see uh, uh href that says base domain name blah 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 just delete that particular line that's base href delete it and you will be fine so that's all for now thank you see you in the next tutorial we will be looking at how to deploy to firebase and also uh, how to deploy to other platform as well in our next tutorial bye for now